we're going camping near Golden Lake, Ontario. Are you excited to shoot? Yeah! Okay, let's go. This is our first camping trip this year. We have booked a cottage at Golden Lake, Ontario. We are going with another family and it's a four bedroom house that we booked in Airbnb. The drive was very beautiful with trees on either side of the road. It was like a roller coaster ride with roads going up and down. It's three and a half hour drive from Whitby, Ontario. The check-in time for the cottage was 2 pm but since we had to work, it was a Friday. We started in the afternoon and planned to reach by evening. Finally around 5 pm we reached the cottage. We had to go a little inside to reach the cottage. It was as if we were going to stay inside the woods and it was a Lakeview cottage just in front of Golden Lake. We booked this cottage for $1096 for 3 nights. It was a 4 bedroom cottage and the owners were living right beside. So it was very easy for us to ask for anything that we need. There were kayaks of different sizes and canoes that we can use to go on the lake. There was a picnic table to have our lunch or dinner outside and there was a camphor area, beautiful camphor area. Though the backyard wasn't flat, kids had lots of space to go around and play. Plenty of space to park our cars too. It was all very comfortable. There were two dining tables in the deck. The weather wasn't that good so we hardly used these dining tables. There was also a very nice gas grill that we used. The view from the deck was very beautiful. One can just relax here and enjoy the scenery. Now coming to the cottage, it's a four bedroom cottage like I said before. The cottage was very very neat and the living area had a couple of sofa sets. The kitchen was very big and equipped with everything that one will need. There was a four seater dining table beside the living room. Two bedrooms were in the first level and two more bedrooms were in the basement. This is the first bedroom in the first level. It's a queen size bed with pillows and blankets. Near the bedrooms there was a full size bathroom with shower. There was a closet filled with whole lot of towels that anybody will need for the next three days. The bathroom was neat. They had toilet papers, everything stocked up. This is the second bedroom. All the beds in this cottage was actually very very comfortable just like how we have our beds in the house. We all had a good sleep. There were lots of closet space in the bedrooms and also in the kitchen. In addition to the full size bathroom, there was also a powder room near the entrance. This cottage actually had two entrances, or I should say probably three entrances. Here we have the powder room and the washer and dryer. Now with respect to basement, there was a big dining table and also a living space with big TV. You can enter or exit the cottage through the basement too. One can have a nice view through this door and can reach the camping area directly. There was a nice cute swing too.
Like I said before, there were two more bedrooms in the basement. This bedroom had two single beds, perfect for kids to stay. And the other bedroom had another queen or double, I'm not sure. This cottage can comfortably accommodate 8 members, so we were 2 families who went together. This is the powder room upstairs. The bathrooms were also very clean. And we had washer and dryer which we usually don't have in any cottages. They had detergents and everything stocked up. We used the dryers often. Every time we went kayaking, we came back and used the dryer. Except for groceries, actually we need not bring anything if we come to this cottage. There were spoons, forks, measuring cups, everything like so many plates, cups, bowls and um, oven items. They had almost everything. They also placed lots of towels for us to use. The pots and pans they had were really of good quality. It was very easy for us to prepare our meals in that. In general, the cottage was very comfortable, actually more than we expected it to be. The owners were right beside and they helped us in everything that we needed. So we had a very comfortable and enjoyable stay here. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to watch part 2 of Golden Lake Camping. Thank you.